Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Adam. I have to tell you something. I've never done this before. Ever? I mean, I say you're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, what I meant was that I am not the kind of person who spends the night with someone I've only known a week. Really? Because I do this all the time. In fact, if you don't mind, my 8 o'clock is due here any minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. That's okay. So am I. I hope I didn't rush you. No. No. I've just always felt that it's important to let a relationship, you know, grow over time. Let it, let it build so that the experience when it does arrive is that much more special. And? <laughs> I guess I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I refused to dress up in a monkey suit to go hear someone play the harp for two hours. Well, I didn't ask the woman to defect. I don't care, and I'm not going to the banquet. Jack, will you be having the chicken or the fish dinner? Hi. What? No chipper hello? No gregarious good morning? Oh, sorry, I've got a lot of things to do today. So much that you haven't changed your clothing since yesterday? <laughs> All right. A lot of people wear the same clothes. <laughs> uh, Einstein would wear the same outfit for weeks at a time, and he was a genius. <laughs> Did he sleep around, too? <laughs> if you must know, I met somebody. And yes. We did spend the night together. Uh, but it's not what you think. He saved my life. Oh, honey, I've been there. <laughs> Vicky, I mean, he literally saved my life. I was cutting in front of a cable car when my heel got stuck in the track. If it wasn't for Adam, I would have been dead. So a uh, simple thank you note just wouldn't have been enough. <laughs> I'm telling you, Vicky, this has been one of the best weeks of my life. This guy is terrific. It, he's sensitive, he, he's kind, he's funny, he's easy to talk to, <laughs> just as easy not to talk to. <laughs> if you've been seeing him for a week, how come this is the first I've heard of it? First of all, that. <laughs> and secondly, I didn't want to jinx it. All right, all right, so... Give me the lowdown on this guy. Okay, he's a child psychologist. Good. Divorced. Okay. He's got two children. Lose him! Who asked you? <laughs> you really want to be involved with a guy who has kids? I don't know. Besides, it's joint custody. I haven't even met them yet. And with the way my luck has been going, we'll probably break up before I ever do. Adam. Oh. Hi. Hi. I found your shoes. <laughs> Where were they? On the balcony. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, here are yours back. Yeah. <laughs> well, I better get going. I've got a, a, a meeting with a 10 year old pyromaniac and a waiting room full of wicker. So uh, I was thinking maybe we could have dinner tonight and try and lose your shoes again. She'll be there. <laughs> if she won't, I will. <laughs> Vicky, here are the, the pictures I took of you at the wharf yesterday. Oh, you know, I don't look at myself enough. Let me just say, I am all that and a bag of chips. Uh, what is that couple doing? Where? On that boat in the marina. Whoa, what does it look like they're doing? Hey, is that who I uh, think? Yeah, yeah, that's her. She's in town doing a movie. And apparently her co-star as well. <laughs> you can see her no-no places. <laughs> We are sitting on a gold mine here. The tabloids pay big money for this stuff. No, 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 Vicky. I'm a professional photojournalist. I have ethics. Louise, I know. And with the money from these, you can afford new ones. I'm not selling. You know what they say? You, you sleep with pigs. You wake up rich. I'm not changing my mind. Louise, I'm the one that had you take the pictures. Todd bought the film. The way I see it, we all have an equal share in this. Todd, what do you think? Boy, this is a tough one. 
A fistful of cash. The fiery pits of hell. <laughs> Can I let you know tomorrow? <laughs> oh, cool pictures. Can I see? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Be that way. But I'd be careful how you treat me. Technically, I am a postal worker. <laughs> Okay. What do you see? Uh, a little baby flying squirrel. Really? Well, that's interesting. What does it mean? <sighs> well, the squirrel lives in the forest, which represents the unconscious. Uh, the fact that it's in flight means you have a willingness to explore. And uh, the fact that it's a baby represents your vulnerability. In short, you want me. <laughs> wow. It's like you're reading my deepest thoughts. Well, that's a gift. So. What else can you tell about me? Let's see. You're trusting. You're a little naive. Overly self-critical. Extremely sexy. And absolutely extraordinary. Well, you are very perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been giving you a lot of thought lately. I mean, after the divorce, I, I just shut down. You know, the last thing I was looking for was another relationship. And, then you and your big feet stumbled across that cable car track and into my life. I just hope we're not going too fast. Susan, I, mean, I work with kids all day, and if there's one thing I've learned is that they throw themselves into whatever they do totally and completely. I mean, sure, every once in a while they end up with their tongue stuck to a frozen flagpole, but they thaw and they go on. Well, the sun's come out and my tongue's off the flagpole, and uh, please say something so I can get out of this analogy. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I understand exactly what you're saying. The truth is, I've been trying to live my life the same way. Without the tongue thing. Really? <laughs> Prove it. How? Oh. Meet my kids. I would love to. Yeah. <laughs> you're terrified. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I see. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Louise, have you ever heard of a little magazine called The Tattler? Yes, it's an Australian dawn piece of garbage that panders to the basest, lowest instincts of human nature. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> They've just offered us $30,000. I, I, I don't care. How do you put a price on honor? Huh? How do you put a price on integrity? They just did. It's $30,000. Oh, come on, Margo. I suffered through the damn harpist. Can't you go to this one on your own? Because I deserve a night off. And anyway, I can't go. They just brought my tux back from the cleaners. And there's a... There's a rip in it. Yeah, no, no. No, it's not on the seam. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll have to call you back. Yes, Susan? Uh, it can wait. You're busy. Nonsense. I can shred and talk at the same time. What do you want? Well, um, it's about my article. I, I got the notes that you gave me, and I was wondering why you... Cut so much out of it? <laughs> I'll come back later. It was too happy. Too happy? Yeah. There was no underlying angst, no pathos. Uh, Jack, it was a walk through Chinatown. There was uh, dim sum and firecrackers and paper dragons. I'm sorry. It's just life with Margot. I kind of figured. Historically, the rending of one's garments is never good. I didn't have a choice. The rending of one's wife is illegal. <laughs> But enough about me. How are things with Mr. Wonderful? Well, you know, it's, it's early, and there are still a lot of unanswered questions. Susan, but... it's okay. You don't have to apologize if things in your life are going well. You deserve it. Thanks. Okay, well, I better go make those changes. Oh, Susan, don't, don't worry. I'll print the column your way. Are you sure? I could always uh, get trichinosis from some bad mushy pork. <laughs> You do that for me? <laughs> sure. Hello, Todd. <laughs> Hello, Vicky. 
When I told you about the offer, I forgot to mention one thing. Today and today only, I'm offering a special little signing bonus. <laughs> Look, Vicky, please, don't cheapen what we had. Todd, what we had was cheap. I'm talking about $30,000. <laughs> I gotta go. But, but, the girls miss you. The girls? Mimi and Jeanette. <laughs> Girls, I... Nana, am I out of my mind getting involved with a man who has children? Oh, honey, I'm the wrong one to ask for advice. I never had children. <laughs> okay, so what would you call mom? Oh, Susan, your mother was never a child. I swear, when she came out of the womb, her first words were, oh, God, look at my hair. <laughs> Them. Hey guys. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Come on in. Hi. Adam, this is my grandmother. Nama, this is Adam. Pleased to meet you. You too. And um, whom have we here? Uh, this is Maggie and Kyle. She slept with my daddy. <laughs> Well, that's my cue. How old are you? A million? Oh, what a precious child. Actually, I would like to stay, but I have to go buy my husband a present for our anniversary. It's our 800,000. I believe that's carbon. Goodbye, Adam. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry about that. I hope to see you again. Yes, well, <laughs> we'll see. Have a good time. Okay. You have a lot of hair. Can I ride it? Oh, well, uh, maybe later, okay? Do you have the Cartoon Network? No. But you know what I did rent on my way home? Hmm? Pocahontas. <laughs> my mother says it's historically inaccurate. Maggie. Well, it's true. The real Pocahontas died of smallpox at the age of 21 in London. Yeah, but it's really hard to get a cute song out of that. <laughs> Ovary. Excuse me? Uh, we just got the new CD-ROM, you know, on the body. Oh, that's great. Nipple. <laughs> Daddy. Kyle. Sphincter. <laughs> that's my boy. Hey, looking for something? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that that thirty thousand dollars is so important to you that you would lie and then steal to get it. Well, try harder. <laughs> you won't find it, you know. All right, fine, fine. I give up. Wait, wait. You can walk me to my car. Would you get that for me? The sharper image catalog. Go ahead, keep it. I won't be able to afford anything in there anyway. You think that tempting me with some bright, shiny gizmos will make me change my mind, you're wrong. Remember, I come from a country where dirt is considered a toy. Hey, Kyle. Is there something wrong with your hot dog? It just rolled over and touched the potatoes. He doesn't like it when his food groups touch. Just roll it back. It's too late. <laughs> you know, sweetie, um, all of the foods are really friends. And once you eat them, they get together in your stomach for a little party. No! Now, uh, Kyle, Susan was mistaken. She doesn't realize that as a resident of the planet Zio, that your stomach has separate chambers for each of its foods. Oh, you're from Zio. Well, that is a whole other thing. Can the woman get me another soda? <laughs> Maggie, you know her name. I'm sorry. Can the woman Susan get me another soda? Okay, Maggie, I have been cutting you slack all night. Now that's enough. Susan, may I have another soda, please? Much better. Now you sit, I'll get it. I know this is hard for you, Maggie, but uh, I would really like to be your friend. What do you say? <laughs> A 
I can't believe you rented a tux. No one will care. I care. I'm the event chairperson. It's embarrassing to show up with someone in polyester and sewn-up pockets. Margo, you're throwing a fundraiser for people that live under a freeway. I was overdressed the minute I put my underpants on. Why don't you just admit it? You're jealous. You have your magazine, but you won't allow me to have my time in the spotlight. Well, wait a minute. I'm a little confused here. Who's the benefit for, anyway? The homeless? Or you? Oh, how dare you, Jack? At least I have a social conscience. Social conscience? You won't even let the gardener use the bathroom. <laughs> and you wonder why your family hates you. What are you doing? I'm sick of this. Yeah, well, you know something, Jack? So am I. Then let's not do this anymore. I'm taking you home, and then I'm checking into a hotel. No. Drop me off at the benefit. You're staring again. Oh, sorry. It's just that now I know what Don King would look like as a young white woman. Well, what can I say? Your daughter's got a real future working on the hair bus at the Grand Old Opry. Maggie, it's our turn. Oops. Are you okay? It was an accident. Get out here now. It was right on the edge of the table. Oh, Maggie. I want you to apologize to Susan. I didn't do it on purpose. That doesn't matter. Now apologize. I'm sorry your boss was on the edge of the table. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're going, and you've lost TV privileges for a week. Dad, you're being rigid. Two weeks. Maggie, come here for a second. Sit down. I know accidents happen, but when my great-grandmother was a little girl, there was a terrible earthquake, and her house burned down. And the only thing that she was able to save was this vase. Well, she gave it to my grandmother, who then gave it to my mother, who gave it to me. And I was hoping that one day I could give it to my little girl. And now I won't be able to. Um, I really am sorry. That's OK. Go get your coats. I'll get them. Come here. What? Come here. Now, you know I love you. And if I can say that after the way you've acted today, you can pretty well bet that's never going to change. OK? OK. <sighs> You're still not getting any TV privileges for two weeks. I know. Here you go. Say good night to Susan. Good night. Bye. Well. This was a huge success. I wouldn't blame you if you ran screaming for the hills right now. You're not going to get rid of me that easily. After all that, I mean, the dinner, your hair, and the vase. I feel terrible about that. Oh, well, I uh, don't. The truth is, I got it from my bank when I opened an IRA. <laughs> I have to keep on my toes around you, aren't I? No, oh, you got that right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ew! <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Vicky, uh, I've been uh, thinking about all of this, and um, although I, I find it morally reprehensible, I, I can tell that this is, is something very important to you, and so I, I agree to sell. What was it? It's a vibrating massage chair? Actually, the Nine Station Home Fitness Center. <laughs> With built-in video screens. Oh, yes. <laughs> Louise, how could you sell your soul for a fitness center? No, 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 no. I'm merely trying to teach the spoiled little starlet a lesson about propriety. <laughs> liar, liar, pantalones on fire! <laughs> Todd, go away. Louise, where are the photos? Louise, don't do it, don't do it. There's enough greed and pain in the world without you having to add but to I've it. I've made up my mind. 
Okay, fine. Fine. I'm sure your mother will be very proud of you. Ay, mami, Dios mío. No, no, no. I can't do this. Yes, you can. No, no, no. The Todd, my, my pure and simple friend, is right. I must destroy the photos. No! Oh, they're gone. What do you mean, gone? Who else knew where they were? <laughs> What's everybody staring at? Where are the pictures, Pete? What pictures? Where'd you get the shiny new coat, Pete? At the store. What about the other stuff? It came with the coat. I gotta go. Oh, yeah, you're going, all right. I'll kill you! Hey, Susan? Yeah? Would you like to go for a cup of coffee? Oh, Jack, I'd love to, but um, I've got to go meet Adam downstairs. Ah, so things are really progressing. So far, so good. I'm happy for you. How, how are things with Margot? Well, you know, same old, same old. I'm sure it'll get better. Me too. Was there something you needed to ask me? No, nothing serious. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay, then. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.